Hey everybody, we're gonna take a few minutes to work through this question today on electric forces. All right, the question right here is, what is the electric force on a charge located at X equals eight centimeters given that Q is one microcoulomb? All right, so the question of course is, what is the force on this guy right here? And we do have that Q is one microcoulomb. So that means that this guy is one microcoulomb. This guy is negative two microcoulombs. And then this guy over here is one microcoulomb. All right. Now, in order to define the force on that charge, we need to find the force from both of the charges that are going to act upon it, right? We have a charge over here on the left, which is a positive charge. The guy that we're looking at is negative, which means he is going to feel a force pulling over to the left, an attractive force because of the different charges, the different signs of the charge. And then the guy over here on the right is also gonna exert a force pulling over to the right. Now the charge is the same, but the distance is shorter. And so because the distance is shorter, we actually expect a slightly stronger force over to the right. Now, we need uh, the Coulomb's law equation for this, which is that the electric force equals K Q1 Q2 over R squared. So we're going to use that for each of the charges that are exerting a force on our negative two microcoulomb charge here. All right. So we'll do the first one first. We'll do this guy over here on the left. And so the force of, we're gonna call this charge one on charge two. So we'll go force of one on two is equal to K. Now K is nine times 10 to the ninth, and that's SI units times Q1, which is one times 10 to the negative sixth coulombs times the charge of number two, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Now, I'm not worrying about the charge here, the, sorry, the sign here. I'm not worried about the sign because I already know that it's going to the left. I've already got a direction. The signs are only going to affect what direction it is, and I've already made that decision, so I'm not going to worry about the negatives here. In fact, in your AP packet, you may notice that it gives you the absolute value there. So it says, you know what, don't worry about the charge, the sign of the charge, all you need to worry about is the magnitude and then we'll decide what the direction is later. Okay, and so the R, the distance, um, it gives me that this is in centimeters. So that's one, two, three, four, five centimeters away. So 0 0.05 squared. All right, put it in meters. Everything needs to be in SI units. Our K value, our Coulomb's constant was in SI units. These are both in Coulomb's, which is SI units. And so this needs to be in meters, which is also SI units. Now we can calculate that and we get 7.2 newtons. Now we're gonna do the same thing. That is to the left, right? That's the force that we found over here. So that's our force to the left. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the charge over on the right. So the for the charge on the right, we're gonna find the force of, we're gonna call this point three, force of point three on two. And so we can do the basically the exact same thing that we did before. Put in our K, put in the first charge, which I'll go ahead and put in the two times 10 to the negative six there. Then I've got the charge three, which will be two time, one times 10 to the negative six. And then we're gonna divide all that by the distance, which this situation is one, two, three centimeters. So 0 0.03 squared. And again, we go ahead and we punch that into our calculator and we get a value of 20 Newtons. All right, and it is bigger, just like we expected. Remember, distance has an inverse squared relationship. So we almost halved the distance, not quite, but we almost halved the distance, which means that we do expect the value to almost quadruple, right? And so not quite, because we didn't quite half it, but yeah, it's an inverse squared relationship. So that's what we expect. So the net force, we need to find that net force of the charge. In order to do that, 
we take the 20 newtons, which is to the right, and the 7.2, which is to the left, and we get our final answer of 12.8 newtons to the right. Now, to be careful, when we look at our answers, it looks like uh, our distance was in 8.00 centimeters. Our charge was 1.00 microcoulomb. So it looks like everything was in three significant figures. We can measure all our distances that accurately. And so our answer should then be in three significant figures. And this is our final answer, 12.8 newtons to the right.